And tonight, another whistleblower has come forward to Senator Josh Hawley, revealing disturbing allegations about the Secret Service. In a letter to Acting Director Rowe, Hawley wrote that a Secret Service whistleblower has alleged the agency blocked multiple DHS auditors from accessing certain Trump campaign events, and that they did this because former President Trump was not receiving the full level of protection at all of his events. Also breaking today, an Afghan national living in Oklahoma arrested, charged with plotting a terror attack on Election Day in the U.S. on behalf of ISIS. He entered the country under Harris and Biden just weeks after their disastrous with, with Afghanistan withdrawal. Here now with more, Senate Homeland Security Committee member Josh Hawley. Senator, what are we learning here? Because uh, I know from people around President Trump that they have repeatedly requested more security, and they have been denied again and again and again and again. Why would they do that? You know, Sean, it sounds like he's still not getting the security that he's been promised. And here's what this new whistleblower says. He says that investigators are now not allowed to come to all the Trump rallies because if they did, they would see that Trump is not getting the full presidential protective detail. He's only getting it selectively. So the allegation is Secret Service leadership is now saying to its own internal investigators, no, actually, wait, don't, don't come to that event. Come to this one over here. And they're trying to conceal the fact Trump is still not getting the full levels of protection. I don't know why they're doing this, Sean, other than that they don't want the public to know the truth. And I tell you what, I've had enough of this from Secret Service leadership. I really have. They need to level with the American people about what's going on here. They need to tell us if Trump is really getting all the security he needs. These rallies need to be safe for everybody who goes to them. And I've had enough of the prevarication and the concealment and the stonewalling. It's got to stop. Well, you were chased off the site at Butler when you went days after the shooting that took place there, the assassination attempt there, uh, which is unconscionable to me. Uh, we know he's being denied, but we also know one other thing, and it's been widely reported, that there are Iranian assassination squads in the country targeting Donald Trump. With that knowledge, how is it possible that Trump International, a known area where people, paparazzi, hide, uh, that that area was never swept by the Secret Service? How is that possible? How is it possible a guy gets within 130 yards of Trump in Butler, Pennsylvania, with with, with a rifle in what would be a, a, a tap-in putt for somebody. How is all this going on? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all. And just to take the Trump International incident, I mean, think about this, Sean, another whistleblower, different one, tells me that it is standard protocol at that golf course, which Trump plays all the time, by the way, as you know, it's standard protocol to sweep it before Trump gets onto the course. It's also standard protocol to post up agents at those places along the course where they know that there's a clean line of sight. And they didn't do any of those things. I mean, Sean, what is going on here? I mean, we've got to get the facts. We need answers. And all we're getting from the leadership of the Secret Service is more stonewalling. They're not answering questions. They're not cooperating with investigators. Now it looks like they're trying to mislead their own internal investigators. My gosh, this has got to stop. And this director, Director Rowe, he's got a lot to answer for, Sean. I mean, I have to tell you, oh, no. I am losing wait, confidence wait, 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 in him by him the minute. He, he said after the Trump, inter, Trump uh, International uh, course incident that everything worked perfectly. If that's perfect, uh, how do yeah. you define imperfect? All right, Senator Hawley, exactly. thank you for that update. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.